BTS Jungkook continues his success on the Billboard charts. The success is evident through the latest chart released by US music media Billboard as of August 10, 2024. Jungkook BTS song 7 has been ranked 74th on the Billboard Global 200 for 55 consecutive weeks. Then, on Billboard Global X Goal, US, the song 7 was ranked 41st for 55 consecutive weeks. Jungkook BTS has shown his presence on the Billboard charts with several songs, including the song Standing Next to You, which was ranked 125th on the Billboard Global X Goal. This chart for 39 consecutive weeks. So you can go kick rocks, I'm a stack bricks, I build what I want to make. Previously, Seven was ranked number one for nine consecutive weeks on Billboard Global, excluding the United States, and ranked first on the Billboard Global 200 chart for seven consecutive weeks on two charts. In addition, Seven and Standing Next to You debuted at number one and five on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and stayed on the chart for 15 and 19 consecutive weeks. Meanwhile, the music video for Seven has reached 421 million views on YouTube. BTS Jungkook has proven his presence and popularity in Japan. Recently, the Recording Industry Association of Japan, or RIAJ, made an announcement. Jungkook BTS' second solo song, 3D, released in September last year, has been certified gold. As of June 2024, 3D has been certified gold in the streaming category, with an accumulation of over 50 million views. Jungkook BTS has received five gold certification awards with the singles Seven Clean Vesery and Seven Explicit Versions, Left and Right, and Euphoria from BTS albums. On the other hand, Jungkook BTS has been certified platinum by the Japan Record Association with over 100 million views through the clean version of Seven and the song Euphoria. In November last year, Jungkook's album Golden had accumulated over 250,000 copies. As such, it was certified with the Japan Record Association's Platinum Gold Disc. The Japan Record Association awards monthly certifications by dividing gold songs or more than 500 million times. Then Platinum over 100 million times and diamond over 500 million times. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. One of the world-class music award shows has announced important information. The event is the 2024 MTV Video Music Awards, which has released the nominations on Wednesday, 7 8 there is one thing that disappoints fans regarding the placement of Jungkook BTS and Lisa Blackpink's work in the nominations. Like the last few years, the nominations include several cop artists in various categories. Usually, these nominations are a big deal for fans, as their favorite artists are nominated alongside other big artists. However, the nominations of BTS Jungkook and Blackpink's Lisa have led to confusion and discussions about racism. In 2019, MTV added a Best Cop category to the awards show, giving cop idols a chance to win. This was seen from two different perspectives, with some seeing it as a way to separate cop stars from other categories, while others saw it as an indication of how much the genre has grown. However, one cop star, TXT, managed to win awards in other categories. This year, the K-pop category was included again, including Jungkook and Lisa as the only nominated solo artists. Jungkook's Seven Feet 
Lotto, received a nomination, while Lisa's Rockstar also received a nomination. While this is an achievement, some people showed disappointment after seeing the nominations of these two stars. Both Seven and Rockstar were released in English, and in Jungkook's case, were released as fully English albums. In both cases, across music platforms, each song is classified as pop music, not pop. Aside from the fact that each idol belongs to a pop group and Jungkook is Korean, Many say that there is no reason for the songs to be categorized as cop. Some felt it was racism that fueled the nomination, putting Asian artists in one category. I literally don't hate any of the artists, but why are two songs that are completely in English nominated under pop instead of best pop? It seems to me that they are Korean artists, but the songs are not in Korean. Why not just give them nominations in the best pop category? English songs being nominated for Best Pop makes no sense. They could have easily gotten nominated in the Pop or Best Song categories. They achieved similar numbers to those Western artists. They actually created a new category just for Asian artists because they don't want Asian artists to steal awards from Westerners. Rockstar is a song made by a Thai woman with English lyrics, and it's literally labeled as pop in Apple Music, but it's still in the pop category. That's a joke. In addition, BTS Jimin showed off his popularity on the global charts. On August 9, 2024 local time, the UK charts released a chart. Jimin BTS title track, who ranked 25th on the official UK singles chart for three consecutive days. In addition, it reached the top of single sales and single downloads for three consecutive weeks. It also reached a high ranking of 8th in physical single sales. Jimin BTS announced long-term success on Spotify, a major music streaming platform in the world. Who has remained at the top of the charts for three consecutive weeks. On August 9, the song ranked first on the weekly top song Global, or the calculation period from August 2 to 8. In the daily top song Global chart, it maintained first place for 15 consecutive days from July 23 to August 5. And on August 7, Jimin BTS ranked first on Brids of a Father by Billy Eilish. Jimin BTS global fans continue to support Jimin BTS second album Muse. From August 2 to August 8, Jimin's Japanese fans held a video advertisement at Shinjuku Unica fashion. The 60-second videos were posted every hour from 7 a.m. to 1 a.m. the following day. Another highlight for Japanese fans was launching Jimin Muse on Osoka's Dotonbori River. On July 28, the LED ad crews displayed the promotional video of Muse from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. every 40 minutes to 45 minutes. The LEDs were installed from Dodenbori Bridge on the left or Yukonoa Bridge to Nambashi on the right. It received a very good response from locals and tourists who visited there. In addition, Jimin BTS fans from the Philippines distributed free food to children through the Smeraldo Children Feeding Program composed from the pre-release song Muse. This was followed by a large electronic billboard of Robinson Galleria Corporate Tower on Ortigas Avenue Quezon Manila. Then Jimin BTS fans in China Moonrising delivered a central digital electronic promotional video advertisement on the first floor underground of Suzio Station. Not only that, Various Jimin BTS fan events both abroad and domestically included digital billboards for the Hongdae Pass Airport Expressway, 
from July 19 to July 25 and Gangnam Station Vision Bus Shelter Advertisements from July 19 to July 21.